many times a lot of the clinical research that we do doesn't necessarily come to fruition, but this has been something that's been in clinical trials actually for a relatively short period of time, just a few years, and um, has been unbelievably successful in uh, patient populations where they failed every other treatment. So I would say this is a big home run. So chimeric antineuroreceptor T cells, or CAR T cells, are um, a procedure when we take the patient's own lymphocytes, or T cells, and actually remodel them or re-engineer them or re-educate them to be able to, to notice the patient's own cancer or lymphoma in this case. Still very strict parameters and um, it's not actually technically clinically available yet till it goes through the processing and is available through the pharmaceutical companies. So as far as being commercially available, it's still gonna be a few months until it's um, actually available in very restricted centers because it's very complicated and um, very toxic in some patients. The places that participated in the clinical trials are going to be the ones that are first able to have it commercially available, and then eventually it'll probably spread out to further places, but because it's so um, specific and how it has to be given and, and the treatment and mostly large transplant centers are the places that are going to be able to do this. We still have clinical trials open in many of this uh, same patient population for lymphoma, but as far as commercially available, probably in uh, December or early January it would be commercially available. So this particular treatment is against CD19, which is a, on the surface of many lymphocytes, so cancers related to lymphoma, leukemia. But the technology can perhaps be done with many other surface molecules, and so the, the possibility is that we can take the same technology, modify it, and use it for many different forms of cancer.